Cause I don't have a green bag in my collection. Cause I don't have a green bag in my collection. Cause I don't have a green bag in my collection. All right, y'all, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my fall fashion wish list. Now, realistically, I'm probably gonna be buying a couple more things before the year is over. We all know that, we all know that holiday season is fast approaching and we all know what I do during holiday season is treat myself, okay? I am no stranger to treating myself, okay? But here are a couple other things that I really have my eye on and that I'm hoping I can secure, you know, in the span of like the next two, three months. Now, definitely wishful thinking because some of these are like bigger ticket items and it's just like, okay, girl, so you're really gonna be spending the money. But you know, when there's a will, there's always a way. But before we get into that, hello, hello. If you are new here, my name is Shayi and this is The Daily Shayi. On this channel, I share fashion styling videos, fashion hauls, along with some life and beauty tips. So if any of that is right up your alley, then please feel free to subscribe. And as always, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for tuning in and being a real one. So let's get right into it, okay? The first on the list, because I spotted them in New York online only because when new york fashion week was going me and yvette were like scrolling on instagram and just seeing stuff and fendi had their like a uh, presentation show and we saw something and i was like oh let's go on the fendi side and just do a little browsing these boots these boots the boot is given i want it i want it i want it i feel like it's just one of those pieces that you know can work with a lot of different things well, i really do enjoy boots like i just feel like they just work with so many different outfits especially when it's fall and i'm a boot girl you know if it's a cute boot i'm gonna want to get it okay okay and i'm slowly building up a boot collection so yes that is fall fashion wish list number one these fendi monogram boots they come in this like kind of tan fabric color shade and then they also come in like a blue fabric shade it looks like blue velvet to me. I think that that shade is also beautiful. At first I thought it was denim and I was like, oh, immediately, but it's not denim. It's more like a velvety fabric, but either way, they're both cute. Another thing that I spotted at New York Fashion Week was this Kate Spade boxy crossbody bag. Now we were able to get into the Kate Spade show, beautiful presentation. It was more so a presentation than like a runway show, but the Kate Spade presentation, really beautiful. The pieces were very nice. Kate Spade is coming with the like ready to wear looks. Like I wasn't really checking for Kate Spade as far as it comes to garments, like on your body but they have some really cute stuff so when spring summer rolls around i will definitely probably be purchasing a few of those things because the stuff was cute but what i really was looking at was the purses and this particular boxy bag i actually saw an ad for this on instagram instagram got me with the ad i saw it and i was like what is that so much so that i literally clicked into the ad and then I copied the link and saved it in my notes because I knew I was going to reference it later because I knew I was going to buy it. And then lo and behold, we go to the Kate Spade presentation and there is the bag in all its glory. They come in two different colors. They have like the brown blue shade and then they have like the more like spring colors, kind of like a reddish pink orange i believe now i'm definitely more of a neutral girl and with a bag like this i would want to go more neutral so i'm definitely leaning towards the more brown blue bag and i want it i want it i want it and it's going to be mine all right first clothing item on the list i wanted this for new york fashion week once again but it was sold out and i was like maybe it'll come back in stock before i go it did not come back in stock i don't know when it's gonna come back in stock i have my fingers crossed that it actually does and it is this girlfriend maxi skirt with this like generous open thigh situation. Now, we all know your girl loves denim. We all know your girl loves kind of like midi skirts. And we all know I like a thigh split. So all three combined into one? Are you kidding me? Absolutely. As soon as I saw it, I was ready to buy. To be honest, almost all the sizes were sold out. I think there was only like a 24 available. I'm clearly, I'm not a 24, not a 24. So I let it go, but I put my name on the list for a restock notification and I still haven't got a notification. And I'm like, you guys, please, please come back in stock. Please come back in stock. Cause imagine this skirt with those Fendi boots. Already the bottom half of the outfit, fire. I haven't even put the top together and already the bottom half is given what it needs to give. So I need the skirt. Girlfriend, please, please, please restock the skirt as soon as possible, okay? And y'all better not sell it out before I get my hands on it, okay? I know I have my notification, but I'm just saying, don't sell it out before I get my hands on it because 
I want it, okay? I want it. Mark my words. And we all know I am a coach fiend. We know, we know, we know. If you watched my pre-New York Fashion Week vlog and my New York Fashion Week vlog, you would have seen that I picked up a coach bag because look at I went to the store, had zero plans of buying anything in the coach store. I was just going with the vet just to browse some things, and lo and behold, I saw this like the purple kind of soft tabby, and I was just like, this is stunning. Here's the bag. A stunning, beautiful, fall ready, perfect fall bag. <laughs> There's a lot of adjectives in there, but it's like velvety, suede. -y. It has the leather, the color, this really deep berry color. Poaches um, hardware to me stands out. I love this brass color. I think that it works really well against all their bags. It's not too gold. It's not too shiny. It has just the right amount of sheen. And again, it works really well. Anyway, back to the point at hand. So while I was in the store, my friend Yvette, she picked up the Coach Bandit bag. I think it's a really nice classic type of like, you know, flap bag, which I don't have in my collection. Like I don't really have like a classic kind of bag like that. I'm partial to the color green, okay? I'm partial to the color green. I don't know what it is, but every time I see something green, it calls my name, it catches my eye. And yeah, I was sold. I was just like, you know what? I want that bag. And it sucks because I told myself that in the month of October, I was gonna do a no buy. I haven't bought anything yet. <laughs> you see this list, I'm like, there's a couple things I got my eye on and I know I could just wait till November, but why put off to until tomorrow what you can do today? But this Coach Bandit bag, uh, I want it. I'm definitely gonna get this bag. Like this one is an absolute need just because I don't have a green bag in my collection. Because I don't have a green bag in my collection. Because I don't have a green bag in my collection. And I know, and I know that for fall, it's going to set the looks off. It matters just me wearing like an all black look and boom, I come out with the Coach Green Bandit. It's a look, it's a vibe. So yeah, I'm gonna get the bag. Next we have the Coach Fuzzy Mini Tabby, a mouthful. But they decided to release more tabbies and I'm like, wow, y'all said we're not letting a good thing go to rest. And you know what? I like y'all for that. I do like y'all for that. These fuzzy tabbies are so cute. This little furry tabby, now not the big one because I don't really need like a big furry tabby bag, but the mini one that is essentially in this color. I know, it's like, girl, why are you gonna get two bags of the same color? But it's a different vibe, it's a different vibe. I think that one is a little bit deeper or a little bit more red, which is why I'm justifying getting it. And it's just so cute. Like, it's just a really cute, fluffy bag. I don't have anything like that in my collection. All right, again, back to the denim. These Jeffrey Campbell denim knee-high boots. Another item that on my way back from New York Fashion Week, I spotted on um, a fellow influencer. Her name is I'm Good Like Megan on Instagram. And she wore them and she posted a picture and I was just like, I need these boots. You guys are already sold out once again. Sold out on Nordstrom, sold out on Jeffrey Campbell. I put my notification in there, my email to get a notification if it's back in stock because it's it's a need at this point. Like a knee high denim boot, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me with the silver toe cap? When I saw it, I was just like, this boot is meant for me. And it's sold out. <laughs> I'm like, God, are you trying to tell me something that I shouldn't be shopping? Okay, well, I'm currently not listening, okay? I'm not really listening because I want the boot. I will rock those boots, okay? I can say that with utmost confidence that I will rock the heck out of those boots, okay? Wow, there's a lot of denim on this list. <laughs> the next one is the mini denim Fendi Graphy, Fendi Graphy bag. I was gonna say Fendography, that's not it. It's Fendi Graphy bag. And it's just like the one little crescent shaped bag with the Fendi logo on the bottom. I think that I, you know, it's a great little mini bag to carry around if you're not wanting to carry a whole bunch of stuff around. But I think it's really cute. I think that the size of it with the denim plays off very well. The gold against the particular shade of denim also works really well. And I know some people may not like the super logo on the bottom, but I personally do not care, okay? I don't care. Again, if you happen to see this one, you heard it here first. I did say I would get it, okay? Maybe it'll be a Christmas gift, one of. And then finally, the final item on this list is this mango green pea coat. And the reason is because I do feel like it goes perfectly with that coach green bandit bag. 
But besides that, I do not have a green pea coat in my closet. And like I said, I am partial to the color green. So it feels like it's only right that I include this in my roundup and have this in my closet because I just know that it will work for a lot of different things that I already have in my closet. It's one of those pieces that, especially for fall, winter season, you can just throw it on and I think it will set off a look in the way that I need to set off a look and it'll work with all the boots I have in my collection. I need a green coat in my collection. Why don't I have that if green is like my supposed one of my favorite colors, I guess. I think green is one of my favorite colors, y'all. I'm having an awakening. I think green is one of my favorite colors. Anyway, yes, this mango green pea coat has to be mine. But anyway, that is the last item of this video and that is my fall fashion wish list. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. And as always, I will catch y'all in my next one. Until next time. Bye.